Hey everybody, thought I'd do a little workshop update here. Now right now I'm doing a close-up on a photograph that I printed out a long time ago. It's kind of been my goal photograph for what I have in mind for my locomotive, minus the boat seat that the gentleman there is sitting on. But that is an Allen Mogul locomotive, just like the one I'm building. He's sitting on the tender, and then behind is a caboose, obviously. And I've had that photograph up there just to kind of remind me of what my goal is and what I'm planning on doing here in my workshop is my Allen Mogul and it's kind of painted the same way a little bit different tribute line but there's the Mogul there is the tender and right here it, I, I did the tender if you're not familiar with my channel I built that Finished it long before I ever started the uh, the channel on YouTube, and now debuting for the first time ever is my propane car mock-up. As you can see, it's a caboose style. Let me see if I can back up here and get it a photograph. You can see how it fits scale-wise. I think it's about the same proportions as you can see it sits up a little bit higher than the caboose <clears throat> excuse me than the locomotive does those railings are about the same height the the uh, stand on the right <clears throat> is a little bit lower so it'll stick up a little bit higher when it's done but and as you can see it's just a mock-up with um, chewy.com pet food boxes right now cardboard but i wanted to get an idea of the scale and see if the dimensions that I had in mind would work and I think they do so as as you may have seen I, I built this frame this chassis I had those existing trucks I had to make some adapters for them but I've got it all bolted bolted together painted I put some rings on there for safety chains and I've got the coupler this will be the back end of the uh, propane car that um, I'll be using so it'll have a coupler that's ready to couple to other cars if there's any to to carry here is my highly technical example of what I have in mind and you'll see that more clearly in a second but this is the front end of the locomotive I'll have a drawbar here that connects to the back of the tender I have yet to make that and I've got also some safety chains I thought that would be a good idea since I'll have a propane line coming out the front of this but as you can see uh, I think I have a pretty good design that the uh, caboose itself caboose body will be longer than that I just that was the the convenient size of the chewy.com box so it'll be actually the full length basically of the uh, of the chassis um, the, but this served the purpose of doing the mock-up and here's the here's the cool thing that wanted to show I have in mind making a lift off lid like that so I'll have ready access to the connection of course it'll be twisted around the front there but the cylinder sticks out I mean if I cut a hole in the roof of the caboose body the cylinder will stick out and then I can have a, a lift off and lift on um, cap just to go on on top like that that'll be I can decorate it you know make it proper looking like with little windows that's why i put this duct tape here just to simulate what windows would look like on the like on the picture i showed you so i think that'll work i think the scale what we're looking at here is 12 inch tall sides it's 14 inches to the center these roof panels are something about seven and a half inches each and then another four inches on top to give clearance for the uh the rest of the propane tank so something like that, um, I, the, the thing is big enough I could actually make make it uh, fit for two propane tanks, but I don't, I'm not really planning on doing that. I don't know, I'm not sure how long one tank will last in, uh, in going around the track, but I'm kind of thinking of just making it for one tank at a time so far. So that's the general idea. Now my, my next step is to go ahead and build the actual body an important component I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it but just let me point this out you see where I marked on my rough sketch there open 
So it will definitely have to have an opening from the propane tank, if the, especially you know if the sides are solid like I anticipate, it'll have an opening at the bottom here where uh, he, he, well, show down here where the, the the gases. If there's a propane leak, propane itself is heavier than air. So if there's a leak, it'll not it would it's not going to waft up to the top. It's going to leak out the bottom, and that's what you want. You want it to be able to leak out for safety. Well, hopefully there won't be any leaks at all, but you definitely want to leave a uh, an opening so that the worst thing that could happen if there was a leak for all the gas to get um, concentrated inside the the body of the caboose that I'm going to build and then have a an ignition source, you, that would not be good at all, obviously. So that's the general idea, everybody. Let me kind of see if I can get that in frame with the, the locomotive itself. Again, the, the, the stand that the propane car is on, it's probably only about an inch higher than the locomotive itself. So pretty, I think it looks pretty decent. I'd love to hear what you think. Please send me your comments. And if anybody knows uh, who that Southeastern 737 is, I'd love to, to hear his comments um, because that's kind of how I've patterned my locomotive after. All right. Well, there you go. I appreciate everybody watching. And like I said, the next steps will be constructing the actual body. It should be more of a woodworking project than anything else. And I, my goal is not to make it super duper scale that one the one in my photograph over there is probably my inspirational photograph is actually probably more detailed than i'll make mine but i do want to give it a little bit of a character look not 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 too clownish make it look a little bit to scale so again thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions please uh, like and subscribe and i will keep you posted on my progress